Okay, welcome to this tutorial. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a liquid fire, and I got this tutorial from gtuts.net or .com. I can't remember. And um, basically, I just decided to make a video version of this because it's kind of hard to understand. First, you're going to add an alpha channel to the image and just choose any water image. I'll give you the link. Uh, duplicate this layer and uh, rename background layer water and uh, duplicated layer fire okay on the background layer you're going to go to colors uh, levels and change the black to about a uh, 40 and click OK and uh, that gives you the dark darker effect and you're going to go to filters uh shoot where is it enhance and then unsharp mask and then just click okay the default is fine and uh, that just sharpens up the image okay and now on the fire layer you're going to go to colors curves and uh under green you're going to move it down until it's a purplish color and then on uh, blue, you're going to move it down until it is an orange color. And then click OK. And um, next, you're going to uh, add a layer mask to the fire layer and click Add. And then on the gradient tool, using the default gradient FG to BG with black and white as your background and background and then you're just going to stroke like that and it gives you the fading effect and it depends on if you want more more a uh, fire than water in your uh, liquid fire thing uh, I figured I'd just put it around even because that looks fine the way it is and um, now you're going to add some text and just uh, write your text or if you want you can just write liquid fire I find that looks pretty good and uh, size that up a bit and uh, I'm gonna center that just so that nothing gets cut off And uh, just move that down right here. Close. We'll make that into a color that you can actually see. And um, now you're going to uh, uncheck the text layer so that you can't see it and go image, merge visible layers, click merge. And then uh, click the f uh, text layer so that you can see it again. Click the eye. That's the visibility thing. Items visibility. Okay. Uh, next, you're going to duplicate the water fire effect layer, sorry, and um, you're going to um, alpha to selection the text layer, and uh, you have to you have to uh, alpha to selection the text layer, and then on the uh, duplicated fire water liquid fire thing layer, you're going to click select invert edit cut select none and uh, you can just delete the background there and uh, as you can see you should end up with a transparent background and like this and um, uh, what's it called you're now going to make it visible so you're to make it visible you're going to go to filters uh, light and shadow and then drop shadow and you have to be selected on the water copy and then click OK with well, default settings are fine and then click select uh, just so uh, you can merge this down I believe yes and um, move that up to right there and that gives you a nice effect and then that gives you the uh, fading effect and to make it more uh, defined you can alpha to selection this and 
make a new layer, click OK, and then click select grow by one pixel, and I think a lot of people know this trick, fill it in with black, and move it below, and click select none, and that just gives a black outline to add to the effect, and uh, merge that down, and um, just play around with it where you want it to be and then to if you want to finish the image just uh, right click and click flatten image and there is your final 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 effect thank you for watching